Connections. Full to full HDMI cable to Lumix BS1H and Ninja 5 or Ninja 5 Plus. As the Lumix BS1H has no screen or viewfinder, we'll use the Ninja to navigate through menu screens. So, after you've attached your HDMI cables, power on the Ninja to view menu screens on your Atomos device. Lumix BS1H configuration. Power on the Lumix BS1H. Press menu and scroll to the second tab. This is the video menu. Navigate to image quality one menu and set exposure mode to manual. Navigate to the fourth tab, the setup menu. And navigate to others. Set system frequency to NTSC or PAL, depending on your region. For this example, we're setting the camera up for 5.9K P30 recording, so we'll have to choose NTSC. Scroll to tab 3 and navigate to the focus shutter menu. Turn focus ring off. Turn AF mode off. Navigate to tab 2, scroll to the focus menu. Turn focus peaking off. In the video menu, scroll to the image format 1 menu. Scroll to rec file format and set to MOV. Scroll to timecode and turn HDMI timecode output to on. For timecode triggering to work, the BS1H must be set to record run and not be in free run. You can now trigger your Ninja to record from the BS1H. This will only work if you have an SD card inserted in your BS1H and an SSD inserted into your Ninja. If the BS1H is outputting menu screens to the Ninja 5, these will be recorded onto your footage. You'll also need to see menu screens to navigate your settings, although we don't usually want to bake these menus and information displays onto our footage. So, we will set our function buttons to toggle off display information to avoid accidentally recording them onto your footage. The function 1 button. Scroll to the third tab, the settings menu, and go to operation. Then select FN button set. Select setting in rec mode. Select function 1 and then select HDMI slash SDI info display. Function 1 will now turn off and on any and all information displays being output from the Lumix BS1H. Function 2 button. Select function 2 and set this to display information. Pressing function 2 will now scroll through the different options for displaying information. Following configuration is relevant to raw recording. Note, when the Lumix BS1H outputs raw data over HDMI, it does not output menu screens or overlay information over HDMI simultaneously. So we recommend setting the function three button as a HDMI raw data output toggle. To do this, select HDMI raw data output from the image format in menu one. Tap function three to turn HDMI raw data output on. Sending a raw signal to the Ninja 5 or 5 Plus will trigger a raw signal detected message on the screen. Tap OK and an activation page will appear. Scan your QR code and follow the prompts at atomos.com slash activation to activate ProRes RAW on your Ninja 5 or Ninja 5 Plus. Tap the function 3 button again to turn HDMI raw data output off so we can continue configuring the rest of the menus needed to output 5.9K P30 from the Lumix BS1H. Note, a not raw input message will appear on your Ninja 5 or 5 Plus when the codec is set to ProRes RAW but the device is not receiving a raw signal. This message will disappear when HDMI raw data output is turned back on. But for configuring menus, we have this off, so the message will be present. Output 5.9K P30 from the Lumix BS1H. Press menu and scroll to the video menu. Navigate to image format 1. Make sure that rec file format is set to MOV. Go back to image format 1 menu and set rec quality to 5.9K P30. Now that we've set up the Lumix BS1H for 5.9K P30, we can tap the function 3 button to toggle HDMI raw data output back on. If you need to reconfigure any menus, tap function 3. But remember, to record ProRes RAW on your Ninja 5 or Ninja 5 Plus, HDMI RAW data output must be enabled. So tap function 3 after you've finished. Ninja 5 and Ninja 5 Plus configuration. Tap to enter the input menu and set HDMI standard to compatibility mode and follow the prompt on screen by removing and reinserting the HDMI cable. Confirm your input settings. Ensure the trigger source is set to timecode and trigger to on. Navigate to the record menu and confirm the codec is set to ProRes RAW. Ensure the Ninja is receiving a 5.9K P30 signal from the Lumix BS1H. Navigate to media menu and press format. 
If your drive is Secure Erase enabled, you can toggle this feature to reset for optimum speed. Set monitor mode to native, Rec 709 or LUT for SDR monitoring or to HLG and PQ for HDR monitoring. You are now ready. If you require more support, please visit adamos.com support. Until next time, go get creative.